Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am doing a romance recommendation and it will be on marriage of convenience. It's actually been a really long time since I've done any type of recommendation video. My last romance one was like three months ago and it was friends to lovers and I can't believe it's been that long since I've done a romance recommendation. I usually try to do them once a month but since I changed my uploading schedule back in June and I'm uploading less. I haven't been able to fit in romance recommendation videos. I know I should try harder to do it because I love doing these type of videos and I know that you guys love my recommendations. But I'm finally doing one today. Sorry it took me so long. Hopefully I'll also do another one in December but no promises on that one. So I will also link my playlist for all of the recommendation videos that I've done before. Today I am recommending some marriage of convenience romances and not to be mixed up with arranged marriages. That is very different. And because it's been so long since I've done some recommendations, I want to say that I'm not the best at describing books and explaining them. So please bear with me on that. And as always, I'm going to go in depth for about six books and then I'm just going to casually mention a bunch of other ones that also fit for this trope. So let's just get into it. The first one that I have for Marriage of Convenience is The Contract by Melanie Moreland. This is actually like one of my favorite books ever and it's one of my favorite books that has this trope. This follows our male character who is a businessman. He's not really a nice guy. He's kind of a grumpy, mean dude. He has a really bad reputation and I can't remember what he wants. I think he just wants to prove to people that he can be taken seriously and I think there is a type of job or promotion that he wants and nobody really takes him serious so he decides I need to get married and he asks his personal assistant to marry him. She doesn't really like him. She just kind of works for him and that's kind of it. There is a little bit of like hate to love in here as well. I mean all of these books are kind of straightforward. They get married or get engaged for like a specific reason obviously. But yeah I really really love this one. I love the characters and their romance. I like how their relationship is very like slow build and angsty. And yeah I really enjoyed the characters so this is definitely one that I would recommend. The next one that I recommend is You Can Have Manhattan by P. D'Angelico. This follows our female character who works for this company and she is really close to the owner and he is in the process of retiring and stepping down and normally his son would be the one to take over the company but his son has nothing to do with the company. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He kind of has his own life. Her boss basically tells her that her and his son kind of have to get married so that she could possibly run the company. This is also a little bit of like hate to love. Um, I would say the male character is also very mean and grumpy. Pretty angsty and slow burn as well. Uh, very similar to the contract in that way too. I'm not explaining this book very well but I really enjoyed it and it's definitely like one of my favorites. Then we have The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. This is a historical romance so it's a little bit different than the rest in my list. This follows our male character who needs an heir and he also needs a wife. Our female character is a seamstress. I, it's been a while since I read this, so I'm kind of blanking a little bit. She gets hired to make a wedding dress for his future bride or this chick that he's like currently kind of with and I think he doesn't end up liking the dress or something. She kind of like goes to him in this wedding dress and like complains about it and he kind of decides on the spot like oh I should offer her to be my wife. I think he's also going to give her money and stuff and like give her this place to live. God, I have a really bad memory. I'm so sorry. I know that they have like this funny rule where obviously he needs an heir so they can only have sex like at night in the dark, no kissing, no questions and all this kind of stuff. It's super sweet, super cute. I loved both characters and I really love this series. I feel like I really need to do reread because I'm already blanking, but the characters were great and I loved the romance. The next one is Hate Story by Nicole Williams. I can't fully remember how our characters meet in this one. It's also been a while since I've read this. I believe that our male character is supposed to get some inheritance and he offers to marry this chick for like three years 
and she'll get like a million dollars and then they'll get a divorce and go their separate ways. This book like really stood out to me I think like two three years ago and I really enjoyed it. I loved the characters and I loved their romance. It kind of became like friends to lovers. They really got to know each other and slowly fall in love and I just remember tearing up a little bit and just really loving the romance and the characters so I definitely recommend this one. A recent one that I have read is The Favor by Suzanne Wright. This I read back in October and absolutely loved it. This follows another successful businessman who is set to inherit some money if he marries before a certain age. So he asks his assistant to marry him for a year. He's another like grumpy mean dude but he has a huge soft spot for a female character. This one had a lot of like family drama and a little bit of ex drama but other than that I really really loved it. It was also a little slow burn and angsty but it was so worth it and I just I loved the male character in here. He was very like possessive and very alpha male very mean and grumpy. I just really loved him and I love the romance. This has definitely become one of my favorite marriage of convenience romances. And the last one that I'm going to go more in depth for is Dax by Sawyer Bennett. This is technically the fourth book in the Arizona Vengeance series, but they're all pretty much standalone so you can read them separately. You don't need to read them in order. Obviously follows Dax who is a hockey player. One day Dax's friend's little sister kind of comes running to him asking for help because it's been a while since her brother passed away but she needs help with her insurance and with her health essentially and the only way that she can really be safe and secure with that is if they get married so Dax you know he really cares about her because she has always been kind of like a little sister to him obviously he sees her in a new light now but he really cares for her, so he, you know, offers to marry her, and it's super cute. I really loved it. This is one of my favorite sports romances. It's a good mixture of, like, emotional, but yet, like, sweet and fluffy, so I really enjoyed this one, and not only would I recommend this one, but the whole series, because I do love it. Now, I'm just going to quickly mention a few other ones. So, we have Burn For You by JT Giesinger. This follows a billionaire and a chef who make a deal. We have Marriage on Madison Avenue by Lauren Lane. This is a friends to lovers, fake engagement, fake dating, marriage of convenience. Really cute. Really love this one. We also have The Prenup by Lauren Lane. Our male character needed a green card, so both characters got married and they kind of went their separate ways. Ten years later, they both want a divorce, but they technically have to live together for a while before they can actually get a divorce, so... They end up living together and things happen. We also have Roomies by Christina Lauren. This is about a musician and a marriage for a green card. This one I feel like is also kind of friends to lovers. I would also say The Bride Test by Helen Huang is a little bit of a marriage of convenience. I mean, is this of convenience or arranged? I guess this could be kind of for both, like marriage of convenience and arranged marriage because our female character gets to marry an American and things don't really go to plan exactly and this is definitely slow burn. I wouldn't say like hate to love but they definitely don't really like each other and it's they definitely take a very long time to get to know each other. Yeah it's definitely a sweet and cute and heartfelt romance. I really loved it. This one kind of fits but also not really. I don't know. I also wanted to recommend Million Dollar Marriage by Katie Evans. This is a very interesting and different one. This is about kind of this game show where a bunch of people go to compete to win a million dollars, but essentially they have to get married right before the show officially starts. Like that's one of the first challenges or tasks of the show is to get married to another person and they have to compete 
in all of these games as a married couple to win a million dollars. I really enjoyed this book. Definitely something very different and something very new and fresh. I really enjoyed it. Riven Night by Daphne Perry is a marriage of convenience romance. This one, I feel like you should read the first book before reading this one, but they are technically all standalones, I guess. This is kind of like a mystery, small town, sort of motorcycle club romance series. This follows our two characters who were kind of wrapped up in like this mystery murder thing that happened and our male character kind of saved our female character and to protect him they thought it would be best to get married so that she can't testify against him. Very slow burn, very angsty, definitely friends to lovers. I really loved both of these characters and their romance. I love this whole world and setting that Devney Perry has created. This is definitely like one of my favorites by her. And the last one that I'm going to quickly mention is Blue Lines by Tony Elio. This is the fifth book in the Nashville Assassins series. Again, this is another like hockey romance, but they're all standalones technically. This one I read years ago so I barely remember anything about it. It follows our two characters who kind of have like a one-night stand I'm pretty sure. Our female character ends up getting pregnant and our male character decides that he kind of wants to do it all so have a baby, get married, happily ever after, but obviously it's not that easy. So those are just some of my marriage of convenience romance recommendations. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations for this trope down below. I would love to find more. Please give me some good recommendations for some marriage of convenience romances because I am really looking for more. I absolutely love this trope, so I need to read more of them. Also, let me know what trope or subgenre you want me to recommend next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!